Hey what's going on guys and welcome to a special video here where I'm going to give you my transfer target for my FIFA 17 career mode with Middlesbrough due to start in just a few days time. You guys of course voted for the team I'll be using in the FIFA 17 career mode. You chose Middlesbrough. Thank you to over 13,000 of you for voting on the new team. I'm really excited for the career mode to begin and I hope you guys are as well. Uh, in this video it's very very basic. It's just me discussing transfer targets for a list of positions and why they are targets and why I'd like to bring them to the Riverside Stadium. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and let's get straight down to it. Okay, so as I show you the transfer targets I have initially for my Middlesbrough career mode due to start very soon, uh, I want to point out straight away that there are no goalkeepers in this shortlist or fullbacks either. Um, the reason being is quite simple. For goalkeepers, I really don't think we need to worry about that area whatsoever, Middlesbrough. Um, they've just brought in Valdez and also Brad Guzan as well. Valdez is 82 overall, Guzan 75 overall, and you also have a couple other goalkeepers as well who are 70 overall plus. So to bringing a new goalkeeper I think in the first summer transfer window isn't necessary whatsoever and that's why I won't be looking for new goalkeepers in the first transfer window. As for fullbacks even though that area could do with some work with Burroughs the years go by I think in the first season I probably won't worry about it too much. Uh, left back I would probably use Fabio as the first choice and then have George Friend as the backup and at right back we'd have Barragan and as a backup either in Sue or Callum Chambers who's on loan from Arsenal. So for fullbacks uh, I probably won't look into signing one or two. I, I might possibly sign one, maybe a young one for the future, but it is unlikely. And as for goalkeepers, I have no interest whatsoever in strengthening that area. But uh, as for areas I will be looking at, I have a few uh, few players in each role, and uh, I shall discuss those as we go on. And we'll start with the centre-backs for Middlesbrough as well. Now, right now, they have three that are in their first 11, uh, Gibson, Daniel Ayala, and also Espinosa as well. Um, but that's it. That's the only only three uh, first, uh, I should say first three centre backs. That's the only three sort of registered centre backs they have, if you will. When I say registered, I mean uh, that's their first position on the game. Those are the only three they have in their entire squad. I know they have a couple out on loan, but I think centre back is probably the main area I'd look to strengthen with Middlesbrough, bringing a good one right from the beginning and throw him straight in the first team. There's nothing wrong with any of those three centre backs there, but for me, I always like to have enough cover in all of my areas. So I'd want a new centre back. That's for sure and I've got some targets right here as well. Uh, Jonathan Tarr who of course I had in my Hamburg save, very very decent German young centre back indeed he's 6 foot 4, already very strong as well I was certainly looking to bring in someone like that. Uh, Rob Magnoli as well uh, an Italian centre back as well, also just another player who's young enough to develop for the future but could go straight into the first team Kevin Wimmer who could be quite an interesting one, uh, the Austrian of course wouldn't mind bringing him to the Riverside I think he'd be a pretty smart signing actually uh, as a left footed centre back, could do quite well, especially as a player that can play out from the back too, as is my style. Uh, Nastasic as well, uh, of course the Serbian, formerly of Manchester City, wouldn't mind bringing this guy to the Riverside Stadium either. Again, another player who could go straight into the first team but is young enough to develop for the future as well. And also Sergi Gomez as well, who I've heard has had a pretty decent upgrade for FIFA 17. So a few targets right there, and I think centre-back probably would be the number one area I'd look to strengthen for the Middlesbrough career. So the next area we're going to look at is the central midfield slash central defensive midfield area and I have a few players here that I wouldn't mind signing for the Middlesbrough side if I could. Um, they have some decent players that do this role already. Uh, Darun is their highest overall at 78. Uh, they also have Clayson, Ledbitter, uh, Forshaw as well and uh, also the young Belgian midfielder that I did actually see on Sofiva this morning but uh, I've, I've forgotten the name. I think it's something like the Hart or, or something like that. This this uh, this something like that. Um, but anyway, I wouldn't mind uh, signing a new defensive midfielder regardless to play alongside those players and again they've got quite a few that do this role already but I wouldn't mind someone even better or, or someone with young uh, someone with a lot of potential to grow for the future um, and being quite young uh, Besic I think would be a really smart signing for Middlesbrough I've got obviously the Bosnian the place for Everton right now um, he's got some really really decent stats he'd be a really smart signing I think also someone that could possibly play deeper in the centre back role as well uh, which would be very important for us obviously with uh, Middlesbrough not having too many centre backs in their current squad right now so that wouldn't be a bad signing I think Besic right there uh, 
Uh, and also Goretzka as well, I thought wouldn't be a bad signing either from Schalke. This is the type of player who I'd throw straight into the first team and I'd be confident could really develop well with some decent potential indeed. Very versatile player, Goretzka. I think he'd be a very smart signing. And uh, also Daniela Baselli uh, as well. Uh, Torino, 23 years old. And again, the overalls will change uh, from viewer 16 to viewer 17 and their attributes will change a little bit as well. But this guy will be a really smart pickup for us. Could throw him straight in the first team and I'm sure he'd do a very decent job. So CM slash DM, not entirely sure it's a priority with Middlesbrough as they, they uh, do have uh, numbers in that area already and quite a few good players. But if I was to sign one, maybe one of those guys wouldn't be a bad signing and certainly could help improve that area. Now, as we move on to the attacking midfield area, this is definitely an area which I do want to strengthen with Middlesbrough and give some depth to it as well. Right now, they have Gaston Ramirez as their main playmaker, and Stuart Downing can also play through the middle as well, but normally, he'll be used down the left-hand side of midfield. I definitely feel as though they need some more attacking midfielders, though, because Ramirez and Downing are the only two players that have CAM as their primary position. I don't think they have anyone else in their entire squad that even has that as a listed position for second, third, or, or even fourth. I, so I, I really feel as though they could do with some more attacking midfielders, and uh, even if they're not going to take Gaston Ramirez's place to begin with, I still feel as though an understudy wouldn't be bad, or possibly someone to challenge the Uruguayan for that first choice cam role. So I think some of these signs will be quite good, and uh, these are the ones I have in mind. So Victor Kovalenko, who I checked out on Sophie for this morning, looks like an absolute monster for the future. Very, very young young Ukrainian and certainly someone who I feel could do the job all through the spine of the team really uh, being six foot and also having the stats to suggest he could be quite versatile even though he'd probably be someone who's more better when pushed up the field and in a more advanced role uh, and also someone as well who I thought could we uh, we could possibly develop for the future as well sort of throw him in the first team and try and expose him to first team football and try and maximize his potential like we do with quite a lot of players in our series uh, in the Watford Milan save a player like Loftus-Cheek for example thrown into the first team even though he may not be that good to begin with we can maximize his potential and expose him to as much first team football as possible someone like Josh Onoma uh, for example uh, from Spurs very talented young English player wouldn't mind getting someone like him into the Middlesbrough side maybe on a loan to buy deal like we have with Loftus-Cheek in the Watford and Milan save I guess something to consider but hopefully we wouldn't have the same problem when he'd uh, turn down every single contract we offered after we agreed the future fee but uh, worth considering anyway uh, Quintero as well who I've seen so many times on FIFA. I've scouted him so many times and thought about buying him but never ended up signing him. Someone who I think could be really, really decent as a, uh, a player to challenge uh, Gaston Ramirez as a first choice cam in this Middlesbrough side. And also, of course, having those four-star skill moves would be really good as well. In FIFA 16s, you can see his technicals right here as I scouted him. Very, very good indeed. And I wouldn't mind picking up this guy for Middlesbrough. Uh, Hakan Shalinolu, who I, of course, had with Torino uh, back in my FIFA 15 career mode. Free kick of course his main asset really but of course I was rubbish with his free kicks back in FIFA 15 but certainly someone I consider buying back in this career mode again four star skills and five star weak foot I think he's retained that for FIFA 17 as well he'd be someone who I'd love to bring to the Riverside Stadium so another cam there uh, and also Bernard as well a Brazilian uh, cam as well uh, he used to have five star skills I used to have him in I think it was the FIFA 14 uh, ultimate team he was absolutely awesome for me and someone I also tried up front as well. Possibly someone to consider bringing to the Riverside Stadium. So a new cam, I think, is definitely someone I will be looking into. Uh, again, because they only really have Gaston Ramirez as their main cam. Again, Downing can play through the middle, but I think I'd probably prefer to play him out wide. But um, either way, I definitely would look into signing a new CAM regardless, and those are some targets right there. Now, as for the wide midfield areas, this is quite an interesting one, but with Middlesbrough, I'm not entirely sure I'll look into buying a new winger in unless it's someone that can take the place of either Downing or Stuani already. The reason behind me not really prioritizing the winger positions is because right now they have Downing down the left-hand side and Fisher as a backup, and down the right side they have Stuani and Adama as a backup. The reason why I'm not too interested is because those two players, Adama, uh, sorry, I should say 
uh, Downing and Stuani to begin with, would probably be okay in the first season to play down the wings. And the backups in Fisher and Adama are both players that have potential for the future as they're still quite young and in the early stages of their career. So because of that, if I was to buy a new winger, I wouldn't want to buy a, a young a young winger to nurture for the future because you already have two of those in Fisher and Adama. I'd want to bring in someone that's good enough to take out either Downing or Stuani and start regularly on either flank. So if I was going to buy a new winger, I'd look to spend quite a bit of money on them. And here are some targets for you. Uh, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, who would be an amazing coup if I could pull it off. Probably wouldn't be able to sign him, but certainly someone I'd consider if we had the money available. Uh, the Ox, of course, an absolutely uh, really talented young English player. Wouldn't mind bringing him to the Rosario Stadium at all, but again, I think that might be quite unlikely in the first season. But, you know, food for thought, worth considering. Uh, Kostic as well, a Serbian who loads of you guys recommended to me last year, but I never ended up signing. Wouldn't mind bringing this guy at all uh, to the Rosario Stadium. I think he'd be a really, good, uh, really smart signing. And like the Ox, does have four-star skill moves as well. And some other wingers as well. Uh, Jesus Corona or Jesus Corona uh, from FC20, a Mexican who I had the chance to sign. I think it was in my was it my Millwall career. Not entirely sure. It was back in view of 14 anyway. Never went with him in the end. That was when he had five-star skill moves. But uh, it seems like he's lost that now. But still it looks like he'd be a really awesome signing to come in and go straight into the first team. Uh, Inyaki Williams, who I had in my Watford save uh, last year, was very, very good. And one of the benefits about Williams is that he's a physical beast. He's strong. He's got decent stamina as well. Good jump on him too. And he's absolutely rapid. So Williams as well wouldn't be a bad signing at all. Also another player that can play up top as well as out wide on the wings. Another smart signing I think he'd be. And also uh, on the left side as well, uh, Keita, who I had in my Racing Santander save. And also briefly as well, when I managed PSG back in FIFA 15, another rapid player who could probably go straight into the first team. And again, like Williams, could also be used up top if we wanted him to be a striker as well. And also Felipe Anderson, who if you watch my Valencia save on uh, stream on Twitch last year, firstly thank you, a lot of fun streaming for you last year. Felipe Anderson, I think would be a really good signing. He was awesome in my Valencia save. And again, another player who's rapid and also can play through the middle whilst also having four star skill moves as well. You see the trend appearing here. So yeah, a few wingers that I'd definitely consider. But again, if I was to sign a winger, I wouldn't want someone who's young and not good enough to be thrown into the first team straight away. We have a couple of those players in Adama and Fisher. I'd want someone that could take out over Downing or Stewani and be a solid investment down the flanks. And the final area I will be looking into of Middlesbrough and quite seriously as well is the striker position and the reason behind this is quite simple. They've loaned in Negredo this season to the Riverside Stadium because he'll only be here for the one year. He is 80 overall and their best striker but behind him they have Jordan Rhodes who I'm excited to see in the Premier League this year after so many years of watching in the Championship thinking could he cut it in the Premier League. Uh, of course uh, a great goal to game ratio in the, uh, the lower division but can he do it in the Premier League. He's about 74 overall though and then David Nugent as well who I checked this morning was 71 or possibly 72 overall I think for Borough for the long term future they're going to need a new number 9 and a new striker because again the grader is only going to be there for a year they're going to need someone to take the place of the Spaniard for the foreseeable future as Jordan Rose probably won't have enough potential to lead the line forever so because of that I thought I'd bring in some new targets and again we don't need a new first choice striker but someone on the bench that's young enough with potential to succeed in a grado in the future that's my thinking behind the targets I currently have right now and I'll show you those too so it will uh, we'll probably play a 4-2-3-1 with Borough uh, I like that formation and I'll probably just go to one striker so again whoever we sign it will probably be for the bench and just play playing cup games midweek games and whatnot uh, Diego Roland uh, from Bordeaux the Uruguayan striker uh, I think he is 77 overall in field 17 he certainly was in 16 as well as you can see right here he's got four star skill moves very good to see and it'll have potential for the future same with Bologna Lotti as well from Torino. I can't remember what overall he was for a few of 17. I did look it up this morning, but he's an Italian striker that plays for Torino. And again, young enough where they have potential for the future and could be a smart understudy for Negredo. Uh, Paulson as well, who I haven't signed yet in FIFA, but I've been told this guy, and I, I've seen comments about this guy. I don't know if it's true or not, but I've been told he feels quite similar to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's six foot four. He's got four star skill moves. He can play on the wings as well. 
well, which is kind of cool. He's quick, he's uh, he's relatively strong. He's someone I'd definitely be excited about regardless as a tall player that's also very good at his footwork and uh, good dribbling and good skill moves as well. And then two other players who I thought wouldn't be bad signings for Barra, uh, who are English and could possibly be, again, a long-term replacement for Negredo. Uh, Saido Berahino, give him an escape route from the Hawthorns. Uh, wouldn't mind bringing him to Riverside Stadium at all. I do believe as well that in the game, his contract would expire come the end of the year. So maybe someone could possibly get on the cheap in the first season. Berahino, I think, would be a really smart signing for the future. He's still so young, well, quite young at least, and uh, will surely have at least a decent amount of potential for the future. And also Danny Ings as well, the former Burnley striker now at Liverpool, of course. I think he'd be a pretty smart signing as well. He's not getting the first team football at Anfield. Bring him to the Riverside Stadium, have him as backup for the first season, and then maybe you can take the number nine role from the Grado for the foreseeable future. So those are the strikers. Those are the positions I'll be looking at as well to strengthen in the summer transfer window. And I think all of these guys will be really smart signings if we could pull them off. So that is basically that guys, I just wanted to do a video like last year, giving you my transfer targets for the upcoming career mode due to start in the next few days. Uh, just for the end of the video though, I do want to say first and foremost, a big thank you to each and every one of you for staying patient with me. Um, I know that loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of YouTubers already have FIBA 17 right now, they're doing their career modes, the journey and whatnot, and I'm sat here still pushing out FIBA 16 content and not really having much to show you right now, and all I can do is apologise for that. Um, I can't really do much until I get the game obviously but uh, I will hopefully be getting my hands on it on Tuesday and I promise that as soon as I do get it the first thing I'll do is start recording getting my career mode and the journey series started and hopefully you guys will enjoy that if you have any transfer targets for me whatsoever feel free to leave them in the comment section down below always happy to see your suggestions and I will keep them in mind but thank you for watching this video please do leave a like if you did enjoy it once again I do apologize for no few 17 content yet there's not much I can do about it but thank you very much for staying patient hope you guys had a fantastic fantastic weekend and I'll see you for another video on my channel very soon.